Everybody loves classic, traditional Thanksgiving dishes like mashed potatoes, so I teamed up with Brendan to show you how to make perfect mashed potatoes and a more unconventional side dish, sweet potato gnocchi, for Thanksgiving this year. This week on Working Class Foodies. We started off with a simple and traditional recipe for mashed potatoes. You can use russet or Yukon potatoes for this. The russets are going to be a little bit drier in texture, so you might need to add a little bit more butter and cream later. Regardless of what kind of potatoes you're using, peel them. We use about a pound and a half of russet potatoes, and then cut them down into equally sized pieces. Cover your potatoes with an inch of heavily salted water, like to the point where it should taste almost like seawater, and bring to a rolling simmer and cook your potatoes until they slide off the edge of a knife or a fork. Drain your potatoes and return them back onto your stove. After you've drained your potatoes, melt together about half a stick of butter and a cup of whole milk or heavy cream in a saucepan. Return your potatoes to low heat and then add in your melted butter and cream. Mix it together gently over low heat. You don't want to overmix because if you overmix, you become kind of pasty. I like my mashed potatoes to have a little bit of texture, so we just gave them a rough mash. If you prefer your mashed potatoes to be silky smooth, pass them through a ricer before adding in your butter and cream. Because we'd heavily salted the water the potatoes simmered in, we didn't need to add any salt to them. We added a little bit of white pepper. That's it. That's all you have to do to make these perfect mashed potatoes. A little butter, a little cream, salt and pepper, serve. If you're lactose intolerant or you just want to make your mashed potatoes taste a little bit lighter, you can replace the milk with olive oil. Now Brendan is going to show you an untraditional way to use sweet potatoes at your Thanksgiving dinner with sweet potato gnocchi. While gnocchi are certainly not a classic Thanksgiving side dish, sweet potatoes are very traditional at Thanksgiving. So Brendan wanted to show you guys how to make sweet potato gnocchi, a simple, elegant, and delicious change of pace for your Thanksgiving dinner. For the sweet potato gnocchi, we did about one and a half to two pounds of sweet potatoes. You want to boil them off just enough so that you can slide a knife through and it slides right off. So we're gonna just take those out, we're gonna dump the water, and then we're just gonna let them cool down. Let them just sit for a while, and just so that you can handle them. You wanna get them to cool just enough that you can slide the skins off. Once you slide the skins off, you wanna mash the sweet potatoes up. Uh, you can use a ricer or a little food mill, maybe you can do them by hand if you want, but you really wanna try and get it as smooth as possible. I like the ricer because it really kind of gets it nice and smooth. Pinch of salt. Once you have the sweet potatoes all mashed up, we did about three cups of flour. That's give or take, depending on how much starch is actually in the sweet potatoes and stuff. It could be two, it could be three, it could even be three and a half. So just shoot for about three cups of flour. You want to incorporate that slowly with an egg. Kind of whisk the egg together and just let it come together kind of so that you have a nice soft dough. Once you have a soft dough, wrap it up in some plastic and let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes. You can put it in the fridge if you want, um, if you're gonna hold it a little longer, or you can leave it out at room temp. Put some flour down on the table. You want to flatten it out so it's about a half inch thick. So you have a nice little brick. It's about a half inch thick. You want to cut out little logs. Take the logs, roll the logs out from the center, and just delicately push away. Then you can take a knife or your bench scraper and just cut yourself little pillows. You can leave them like that, punch in the center, like kind of catch some of the flavor. Or you can even use like a fork and just kind of roll it out. And that normally is just a way to get the sauce to, to stick to it, give it a little bit of texture. I'm taking it personally. You should. After you have your gnocchi all sectioned out into the little shapes that you want, you want to bring your water up to a boil with salt. You just put in 10, 12 pieces each. 
And then once you drop the pasta in, just give it a little bit of a stir and make sure they're not sticking to the bottom. After about a minute or so, you'll start seeing the gnocchi rise to the top of the water. Once they all come up, you'll know that they're ready. Then you can take them out, throw them into a pan with your sauce. So just get your pan nice and hot. Get your butter in there. We browned half a stick of butter in a pan. It just turned brown almost immediately. When the butter was brown, we threw in a bunch of fresh sage leaves and just let them fry in the butter. Then we tossed in our gnocchi. Make sure they don't stick and just toss them in the butter. And a little bit of the pasta water. And then always take a little bit of that butter. Put that right on top. And that was it. Sweet potato gnocchi and a brown butter sage sauce. This mashed potato recipe yielded enough to serve at least eight people for Thanksgiving dinner for a total cost of $3. Brendan's sweet potato gnocchi recipe also cost about $3 and yielded four to six servings depending on how large or small you cut your gnocchi. So that's what I'm doing with potatoes for my Thanksgiving dinner this year. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to be serving for your Thanksgiving side dishes this year and tune in next week for a Thanksgiving dessert face-off. See you next week on Working Class Foodies.